But you know, before a book is launched, somebody goes to, to review the book. Now, I should show be a woman, we have to say, we to say. And we want to invite somebody who has spent her time to go through the book, to review the book, and to tell us something, some few inspiration. Let's put our hands together as we invite our sister, Annie Aman Bahai. Aman Bahai. Aman Bahai. Sorry, if I got your opinion. Good evening. I spare you the pronunciation of my name, Thank it's Amegbeha. Alright. I'm so honored to review our purpose book. Um, and recent past, like you mentioned earlier, when we mentioned homosexuality was far away, where we thought that it would never ever get closer to us. And we thought that when, when we mentioned it, we go like, ah, uh, like mommy did. But today it is with us, it's in our secondary schools, it's in our girls' schools, and it's everywhere. The more reason why our father has taken his time to delve into this issue with so much attention to how the church will evaluate and, and, and handle some of these cases. As far as the church is concerned, um, we utterly can't do away without mentioning homosexuality. And if you would want to give a nostalgic look to it, then you'll be doing yourself more harm than good. And so you'd want to embrace the idea because social activists and human rights activists have been able to propound it that we should embrace these individuals because they have their human rights. But what role do we have to play? I think this book um, is well encapsulated in seven chapters. And it's in plain language. Make a plain language, and I'm in Chade. Or your simple English, or be to me, I can be. It's so simple that your child who is in class one can read to understand. And it's so clean and clear and plain that the individual who has not even been schooled can be read through to understand. We also say that the book is holistic. It identifies our tradition and culture as Ghanaians and tries to, you know, bring it um, apart with the scriptures. And so as traditionals, as, as traditional in the sense of Ghanaians, what do we say about the book? The book also identifies homosexuality in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and identifies if it was actually the act or they actually lacked hospitality. And so these are many more chapters that you would want to explore in the book. Um, as a youth, you would want to read this book to familiarize, to familiarize yourself with the changing trends of our time. And you would also want to um, be relevant in our time in how to express and defend the good name of our church in this matter. Without boring you much, I guess you want me to tell you all that there is in the book. I'm not sure it's my job to do. It's yours to do by buying the book. And in fact, when you buy it, seven chapters, one chapter a day, and in seven days you are done. I'm, I'm hoping and believing that this book will bless us, our nation, our community, our church, so that when you are standing to defend God and what he has done for our church and how we should be able to conduct ourselves as Christian ladies and young men everywhere, we will know how to do. Thank you so much for your audience. Buy the book for yourself. Thank you.